Okay, to do animation, there's a process here. I'm going to go through the process and, and do some examples. Um, the basic process is as follows. Um, assign a word to the box label, or a word label to the box in which the drawing takes place. In our examples here, we're going to use the word uh, SCRN for screen. So we're creating, as we did before, a box. <coughs> it's black. It has the drawing, uh, the drawing uh, properties. And we're calling it SCRN for screen. And then what we do is create a new block in which the new characteristics of the graphic element are in place. So um, for animation, what we're going to be doing is changing coordinates of image elements. So uh, to create these animations, we can change the position, we can change the size, and so forth. We're going to create a new, a new draw block in which those changed elements occur. And then we use this code uh, template, the label that we created, in this case, SCRN, and then uh, we re refer to the effect and the draw block in that um, uh, in that uh, uh, property or the pro that property of the screen, the SCRN, uh, this way. So SCRN label draw, and we assign it the new changed draw block, the the new block that contains new positioning, new sizes, and so forth. And then we just uh, show that, uh, update that in the GUI. So in this case, we're going to say show SCRN. So that's what's going on here. What we've done is we've created um, a GUI with the box named screen SCRN. And it's got a circle um, at this position, 200 by 200. And then we put a button in that GUI. The next thing is going to be a button. And with the word move on it, when that button is clicked, um, we assign our new block, a circle, at a different position, um, same size, and we're going to refer to the effect and draw portions of that box, and what we're doing is reassigning it this block of code. So instead of the original, it's here. That effectively creates an animation. In this case, a very simple animation with just one frame change. Um, we start out, and there is our circle, and we click on move it moves it to a new position. That's the basis for all the other types of animations that we can work with. Uh, and so we can assign these characteristics to any um, of the properties and using loops we can go through and create smooth movements. So in this case we're going to create a initial position variable, call it POS, and then we create the layout. Start with the box with a, a draw effect on it. And uh, it's a circle again at the given position. And now we have a new button after that. This time the button says move smoothly. And what happens when you click on that button is we loop 50 times. And in that loop, the Y value of the coordinate of the initial position coordinate is going to be incremented by 1. So this is how we refer to that y value, position forward slash y, is going to be set to the existing position forward slash y plus 1. So we're incrementing that y value by 1, and then we're uh, accessing the draw portion of the uh, effect portion of the box item. So we're changing the draw, and using copy to make sure that this uh, block is copied exactly as it is uh, without any previous elements in it. That's a uh, rebel uh, oddity that we need, need to work with every time we want to make sure that a block is exactly as we say and doesn't contain any previous items from that block. Um, so now we're taking the new position with the incremented value and the same size as before, and then updating the screen. So it's going to go through that 50 times, move it one pixel at a time. Pop that into Rebel. Okay, and you'll see we have a circle at the starting position, and we've got a button that says move smoothly, and here it goes incrementing, um, and it moves it from here to here quickly. Those increments happen very fast. Okay. 
You can also store, for example, blocks or, or coordinates in a block. Here now we have an uh, initial position again, variable, and now we have some coordinates that are in a block. And what we're going to do is loop through uh, that block. So, for example, uh, we start with the GUI layout. Again, our box with the circle drawn on it. Uh, we have another button. This time it says jump around. And what that does when you click is it goes through, it uses a for each loop to go through that coordinates block. And for each of those coordinates, um, we put the uh, circle at that coordinate. Again, we're using the copy, uh, the copy functions to make sure that it doesn't include the previous values. Update the screen, then wait a second. So it's going to jump around between those items every second. Click on the jump button, and it jumps around the screen. Again. And you can use other data sources. In this case, what we're going to do is use uh, button sources, and which actually change the data according to which button we press. Again, it's going to update the Y value of that initial position uh, variable by 10. Um, and we're also going to use the feel function to update the screen every tenth of a second. And as you saw in the previous examples, that's how we wait and watch for events in the window. So what's happening here is, again, we create initial initial position variable, create a GUI, put a box on it called SCRN. Uh, in this case, we're giving it a rate of um, one-tenth of a second. We have the feel function. And if the action um, is one-tenth of a second, if we see that time passing, then what we do is uh, create a new draw block and append uh, this uh, to that uh, draw block circle at the current position and uh, with the current size and then we update the screen and again here's the actual draw the initial draw block is empty uh, we set up a couple more buttons and up they say up down right and left and which those buttons it does is it uh, uh, updates the current position so now the GUI can respond to the user's gut but, uh, button presses and it can also, in, in the meantime, keep checking to see um, if a tenth of a second has passed. Every time that tenth of a second has passed, it can update the, the screen with whatever changes have been made to that position variable. And so what this lets us do is move the circle up again by 10 pixels. Right, and the beginnings of a, um, a game piece, for example, that could be moved around the screen, or any other graphic uh, graphic uh, that we want to include in a program, and a simple way to control it.